First, you drew on paper, and it was boring. Then, you drew on your iPad, and it was cool, but it wasn't life-changing. And then, you drew with spiraling emotion. So let's get started. If you ever get lost or want to go back to the beginning, just tap the video to pause it and tap the back arrow to rewind. Tap the plus button at the bottom of the screen to get started. Tap the blue square with emoji on it to add a text object. And just press check. We don't want any text in this object yet. Then tap add code and add a magenta is pressed block. You'll see an iPhone icon in the bubble of the when. This means that something will happen when the screen is pressed or for as long as you're touching the screen. First, we want to clone this object. Tap the blue icon at the bottom of the screen or scroll all the way to the right until you get to the blue blocks. Tap a blue create a clone block. Then tap the red icon at the bottom of the screen. Or you can scroll left to find the blocks too. And tap a red set position block. We want these clones to follow our finger wherever it's touching the screen. Tap the iPhone icon at the bottom of the screen or scroll left until you see the device's yellow values. In the first bubble, tap last touch X. This code says where your finger is on the left to right axis of your device. In the second bubble, tap last touch Y. This code says where your finger is on the up and down axis of your device. Next, tap the green icon at the bottom of the screen and tap a green set text block. Open the emoji keyboard and choose whatever emoji you want. I'm going to choose the unicorn because they're magical. Press check and then press play in the upper right corner of the screen. Now press down on your screen and see what happens. Great, look at that unicorn follow my finger. But that emoji is a little small and kind of janky looking. So let's make it bigger and better. Go back to the code by tapping the pencil icon in the upper right corner of the screen. To make sure your cursor is in the right place, tap under set text and tap a green set size block. Let's type 200 into the bubble. This will make my emoji twice as big as it is now. Then tap the blue icon at the bottom of the screen and tap a blue repeat forever block. Now tap the red icon at the bottom of the screen and tap a red turn block. I want my emoji to turn just a little bit, so tap 2 into this bubble. Make sure the turn is inside the repeat forever. If not, pause the video by tapping on it, press down on the block and drag it inside the repeat forever. And if you ever want to undo anything, just shake your device. Now let's press play to check it out. Press down on your screen again and let's see what's going on. Whoa, awesome, look at that unicorn spin. How cool is that? Again, if yours doesn't look like mine, just pause the video and rewind. But we're not done yet. Let's take this project one step further by adding more emoji. Go back to the code by tapping the pencil in the upper right corner. Scroll and find your green set text block and tap on the bubble with the unicorn inside. Now I can type in more emoji too. I'm gonna use a tree and another unicorn, because those colors look good together. Press play to check that out. Nice! 
Look at those stellar emoji swirls. See how these emoji are spinning? That's what our repeat forever is doing. That block tells each clone to chill where it is and turn a little bit. So cool! Now that you know the basics, play around with it and make it your own. You can change the size, the emojis, and the angle at which they turn. If you use letters, you can change their colors and make them turn random colors. How awesome is that? When you're done with your project, publish it so that other people can play. Tap Publish. Resize your screen by pressing and holding on the image and dragging until it looks great. Give it a title and then hit publish. Can't wait to see your project in the community. Happy hopscotching!